Yes guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be telling you about the Thor 312 formation on FIFA 21 with pro player custom tactics and player instructions used by top 100 players guys. So these tactics are very very meta guys. Before we start I will be doing a giveaway when we hit 1000 subscribers. If you want to enter, simply subscribe. I'll look for all my subscriptions when we do hit 1k. And I'll be giving away some gift cards of your choice um, on which console you want, guys. So you can have an Amazon gift card, you can have an Xbox gift card, or you can have a PlayStation gift card, guys. So it's very, very simple to enter the giveaway. Make sure you do. Also, let's get into the formation now. So as you can see right now, the 4-3-1-2 is the formation I will be addressing today. Very, very similar to the 4 one 2 2 second, which I actually did yesterday. Apart from the fact it's more attacking, guys. You're going to score more goals. But you are playing more attacking, which means you are going to be at risk of the counter attack more, guys. But trust me when I say this, you are going to score a lot more goals, guys. So let's get into the tactics now for this 4 3 1 2 formation. So starting off with our defensive style, guys, it will always be on balance and will not change until the end of FIFA 21. I can basically give you that for sure. The only other time you're going to be using a, um, a defensive style like constant pressure, press up possession loss, is if you're using a formation, a really attacking formation in the last 10 minutes of the game trying to snatch a goal. With our width and depth, we'll be on 6 and 6. Now, the width and depth, you can actually range it from 5 and 5 to 7 and 7, guys. Playing 6 and 6 and 7 and 7 is like that manual offside trap. So, you're manually catching them offside. If you're going to use 5 and 5 again, you're going to ca sometimes catch them offside. But, you're going to have less of the ball um, rather than you would with 6 and 6. 7 and 7 is just a bit too risky for me. And, I do not want to increase my chance of getting hit on the counter-attack. With our offensive start, I'll show you an analysis now for this offensive start. It will be fast build up. So, guys, the main reason why we do use the fast build up offensive start is because there's actually no solution for that long ball forward. When you're playing with such a compact formation, such as the 4 3 1 2, you, do, you basically have so many players through that center of the pitch. The only time you're going to play that um, long ball is when you're going to your strikers up top. If you're going to play the striker or that long ball up to your strikers up top, it will get intercepted, guys. We all know that chip through balls are not the way to go in FIFA 21. Whereas, if we do use the fast build-up style, what we can do is we can actually do very fast-flowing football for our centre-half to our centre-mids. Because there's so many options here, guys. You can literally go to anyone. For your centre-mids, you can go to your cam. You can drop back at the ball. They can play a through ball to your strikers. Quick passing, guys. Open them up through quick one-twos, ticky-tack of football. So, guys, on to one of the most key tactics for the 4 3 one, 2 the attacking width. Now, I'll show you again an analysis why this is, but we will be using 4. So, guys, the reason why we will be using 4 on our attacking width is because look at this wide area. Do you see a left mid, a left wing, or on this area, a right mid or a right wing? No. So, there's no point one of your sentiments here dropping in out wide guys because what's the point you're ruining the formation you may as well play the 4 2 4 otherwise guys so there's no attacking wide players there's no point to play wide attacking football if you want to play a wide attacking gameplay then go to the 4 3 3 the 4 2 4 a formation like that guys but with the 4 3 1 2 is specifically down the middle you want to play through that middle of the pitch and outnumber them so, guys, the players in the box, we will be on five, guys. So, we do want two of our centimeters getting in there. We do want our cam getting in there. And we do want our strikers getting in there. And the other centimeter can actually sit on the edge of the box and wait for that long shot opportunity. Which heads us into the formation page now, guys. What I actually recommend is having a centre mid who's got good defending but a good long shot in the central centre midfielder position. Because they are going to be the ones sitting back on the edge of the box and powering in them shots. So, moving on to the instructions, so our strikers are going to be on stay central, stay forward and get in behind. Now, there's actually a few things you can do on your strikers. You definitely want to have them get in behind and you definitely want to have stay forward. With your stay central, you can actually use balance width. You do not want to use drift wide though. I'll quickly show you why this is. So, guys, the reason why I said you can either use balance width or stay central is really up to you guys. So, say you have stay central, your strikers are mainly going to stay in this radar here, which means it's much more difficult for their centre half. This is if you're going to play a more attacking game. Whereas, if you do use the balance width, your strikers can sometimes offer out wide here, which basically mean our cam here can thread through the middle of the pitch, guys. So, 
that is basically the way you can use your strikers. Personally, I like to have stay central. I like my full wax to push up the pitch instead of our strikers. And our strikers, so say our strikers are here. Our full backs can push up the pitch without our strikers getting up and they can stay in the box, guys. Which basically means our full backs can put a ball in and they are going to win that ball, guys. And that is why you have many possibilities with your strikers. So, guys, with the cam, what we do want to be using is getting to box across. Now, there's a few things you can do. You can have stay forward on your cam. But for me, I like my cam dropping back into that central centre midfielder position in defence, carrying that ball up the pitch for our strikers to run in behind and then you can which put a ball through and then open up a one-on-one -on -one opportunity so guys we do leave our count on basic defensive support so i'll show you now an analysis of our three centre midfielders so on our central centre midfielder we do want to have cover center on our center or left centre mid and right centre mid, what we actually want to do is cover center as well and i've got to mention on our central centre midfielder, what we do want to have is stay on the edge of the box of cross. Like I said, staying on that edge, guys, smashing that ball home. With your right centre mid and left centre mid, you can use against box of cross if you want to go much more attacking. But for me, I leave it on balance because they can, um, can sometimes get in there. They can sometimes stay on the edge, and it works perfectly. So, guys, that is what we have on our three centre midfielders, and I'll show you an analysis why this is. So guys, with our three centre midfielders here, we can actually have, as you can see right now, our central centre midfielder stays a bit behind, guys. And the reason why I like the 4 3 one too is because you can actually instruct your um, central centre midfielder to stay on the edge of the box for the cross. With a CDM like the 4 one 2 one 2 second, you can't. And that is the main reason why I prefer this formation. So, say our left centre mids and right centre mids here will be getting into that box right like this. Our central centre midfielder can wait on the edge just a bit up behind. So, if that cross from our fullbacks does rebound backwards, guys, our central centre midfielder is going to be there to close that ball down. He's going to be the one to make a shot out of that wasted opportunity, guys. So, that is why we use these instructions on our central centre midfielders. So, guys, on to the fullbacks now. What we will be using is balance attack default. And this is going to be the same on both fullbacks, guys. You're going to have default everything, and I'll show you why. So guys, with enabling our fullbacks to go forward, it makes us cams, our centre mid's life, 10 times easier because our strikers are going to be able to stay through the centre. They're not going to need to drift wide because there's nobody up wide. With our fullbacks pushing up this pitch, not only will they get up, they will also get down. So they're helping out the attack and defence, guys. So, like I said, our strikers can stay through that centre, which means our cam can play through balls in. They can also all get into that box with cross overload that box and score that goal guys so it links really really nicely and that is why we use balance attack on our fullbacks so guys with our center half we will be leaving on non default default and our goalkeeper last but not least comes across as anti sweeper keeper guys every single pro nine out of ten times will be using these instructions guys because it's so so good He's going to win you games, he's going to um, save goals and he's basically going to make you better at FIFA 21 so guys, that is going to be the 4-3-1-2 formation. Like I said, subscribe. You do not want to miss out on that giveaway. It's going to be a um, you know a PlayStation card, an Xbox card, an Amazon card. Up to you guys. That is when we hit 1,000 subscribers, guys. So the quicker we hit it, the bigger the giveaway. Anyway, guys, have a great rest of your week. Have a great rest of your day, and goodbye.